Unit 9, Herbs and Spices. Research suggests that the original use of spices wasn't to enhance the flavor of food, but rather to inhibit foodborne bacteria, especially in warmer climates. Of course, in those days, people didn't have any concept of uh, bacteria or what caused food decay. They were assuming food decay was caused by bad airs or different things like that. And uh, so they thought that uh, very fragrant and pungent spices might drive away the bad airs and preserve food. The Europeans began exploring the world heavily right after Christopher Columbus's voyage in 1492. So the 1500s and 1600s were an age of exploration for Europe. And much of that exploration was in fact driven by the search for spices. During the 16th century or the 1500s, Portugal virtually controlled the spice trade between the Far East and Europe. They controlled the spice routes um, by sea. They also were establishing uh, trading posts and, and colonies in the Far East, um, trying to lock out the other Europeans. Um, soon, though, the Dutch and then the English uh, began sailing the trade routes themselves and establishing their own colonies uh, in order to break Portuguese control of the spice trade. Marco Polo might be one of the most famous uh, explorers of that period. He spent 25 years traveling in the Orient and uh, later published his memoirs. Um, describing the enormous wealth of spices along the spice route, India, China, and Java. Um, Polo went to China via an overland route, uh, which was the so-called Spice Road. Um, but for his return trip to Italy, the Chinese emperor supplied him with ships. The ships sailed to Ormuz on the Persian Gulf, and then from that point he went overland back to Italy. Uh, no Suez Canal to get from the Gulf to uh, the Mediterranean in those days. It would be 200 years more before Vasco da Gama sailed around the Horn of Africa and created the first route to India, the sea, first sea route to India. Now, since many spices were initially used in attempting to preserve food rather than a, as a flavor enhancer, it may be that the use of spices for flavor arose from these experiments in preservation and people thought, hey, they taste good. So one thing probably led to the other. Spices, for as long as people have been aware of them, have also been used for health. Um, aromatherapy, for instance, is the use of volatile plant materials uh, called essential oils for modifying a person's mood or health. And many fragrant essential oils are used in aromatherapy today. Spices were often quite expensive. One of the most expensive things that families would purchase uh, in terms of consumables. And elaborate storage devices and units were devised for keeping spices often as a way to flaunt the wealth of the person having the spices. In colonial America, spices were also quite expensive and were often kept in locking spice cabinets with multiple drawers uh, to help prevent theft. This slide shows a couple of um, ceramic spice boxes um, dating from uh, the 1700s uh, just an example of the elaborate type of containers uh, spices were placed in. These were not inexpensive things to purchase in those times. Uh, this concludes part one of Unit 9.